A Denver high school student got to see an idea come true today, an idea that was years in the making. Her goal was to get rid of any and all words that can cause pain to others. Nine News reporter Jonathan Gonzalez shows us how she did it. I will not mourn, I will not cry, and I am not sad because this is not a sad occasion. Throughout our lives, there are some words that never leave us. He was born in the United States, bore by colonial men, believing they were and always will be on top. Some of those words that never leave, many people never wanted around. My people were considered less than animals, a wound my brothers also carry. So today, some high school seniors at the Denver Center for International Studies held a funeral. I'm holding the casket I built for the N-word. A funeral to bury the words they say can't seem to go away. When I was five years old, I was called this abominable word for the first time. I had never felt so dehumanized in my whole life. Ashley Annan set up the burial, an idea that came from her family. Our world is changing and we all are becoming brothers and sisters and we don't need these words to like differentiate us. Her teacher was impressed. When Ashley first came to me with this idea, I was so blown away. I'm so proud of you. So were Ashley's friends. Like it's just a part of people's daily vocabulary, like it's inappropriate and it's never okay. The N-word of hate was all they would see. For this group of seniors, today was a day of goodbye. November 21st, 2014, that's when this word was laid to rest. It was a goodbye to the words that never seemed to leave. Yes, good riddance, I will not miss it. Words that so many never wanted around in the first place. In Denver, Jonathan Gonzalez. I am so happy right now, I can't even stand it. Nine News.